despite international calls to refrain from launching a ground offensive in Rafa in southern Gaza. Benjamin Netanyahu has reiterated his determination to press ahead with the plan. I say it again, we will operate in Rafa. It will take a few weeks and it will happen. Some 1.5 million Palestinians have sought refuge in Rafa, which is situated on the border with Egypt. Many are living in tents and makeshift housing in dire humanitarian conditions. We have no other option but to come to the charity. We're from Gaza City. We have no money and we're living in tents. The charity is providing us with food. Netanyahu said Israel would not leave civilians trapped in the area when the army launches its assault. Our goal in eliminating the remaining uh, terrorist battalions in Rafah goes hand in hand with uh, enabling the, the civilian population to leave Rafah. It's not something that we will do while keeping the population locked in place. Netanyahu's office says there are several Hamas battalions in Rafah and that Israel would need to send in troops to complete its goal of eliminating the organization. The plan has come under heavy criticism from the international community, with the UN warning that a large-scale assault in the city could be disastrous. The president of the European Commission has also expressed concern about the planned ground invasion and has called for a rapid agreement on a ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas conflict.